What's up, crypto gang? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new here, we do a giveaway at the beginning of every single episode, and today's winner is CBB. Thanks so much for commenting on the previous video, CBB. I just sent you some crypto. On this episode, I wanna go over blockchain cuties. It is in addition to the crypto collectible series, and I'm working directly with the team. Full disclaimer, all crypto collectible projects have donated two to three different NFTs to actually give away via growyourbase.io as well as this channel. So this is not a sponsored video, but they have actually provided the NFTs to give to the audience on Grow Your Base, as well as OpenSea, and as well as this channel. Blockchain Cuties is a new game that allows you to breed lizards, cats, cubs, bears, all these different types of fantasy creatures that allow you to breed them, play with them, go through an adventure, collect different collectibles, and ultimately battle against each other. Similar to the other project in the Crypto Collectible series that I included, Crypto Kitties, where you're allowed to breed them, the biggest change between Blockchain Cuties and Crypto Kitties is the fact that you can swap these different Blockchain Cuties between different blockchains like Tron, Ethereum, and EOS. NFTs is a non-fungible token, like I've said in the past, that makes it unique. It means that you fully own that piece of the blockchain and that unique item that you can actually trade just like any other cryptocurrency with other users. You can buy them, you can sell them, you can just trade back and forth on platforms like OpenSea. So you can collect them, you can breed them, you can battle with them to test their skills and you can arm them with different types of NFTs within the adventure game. And ultimately, if you choose to, you can use the smart contract to trade them freely amongst these different networks. As I mentioned before, Ethereum, EOS, and Tron. So it's a very exciting concept, and I wanted to dive into the overview video so you guys get a chance to see what their video looks like, that they're talking about the overview of Blockchain Cuties. And then I wanna go through the OpenSea listing to show you guys the NFTs and the most popular ones on the platform, which is usually what I do with this series. And I also wanna show you the market cap as well as some of the trade volume and the activity that's going on on OpenSea for Blockchain Cuties. And then finally, I want to show you guys the different NFTs that we're going to be giving away via the Grow Your Base platform. So a lot to cover in this video. Let's dive right into it. Blockchain Cuties is a new crypto collectible game where you can collect the cutest pets, breed them, give them awesome gear, and send them on adventures to get precious loot. There's a huge range of cuties to choose from. You can breed and collect a wide selection of animals such as cats, puppies, bear cubs, lizards, hedgehogs, and so much more in the future. You are the sole owner of all of your cuties. Each cutie is 100% unique and completely belongs to you forever. You can trade or transfer them anytime to anyone, just like a regular cryptocurrency. In the case the value of your cutie increases, you can actually earn money by selling it. You can test your cutie skills in battles and level them up. If you are brave enough, you can challenge your cutie's abilities in battles against raid bosses. Your cuties will get not only a unique experience, but can also obtain an item or a gift as a reward. Breed unique cuties. Our cuties are made of different parts that are combined together according to their gene set. Each animal species has specific gene combinations, which, if selected properly, can result in a unique looking cutie. You can also buy a limited edition unique cutie that is not only powerful, but also super rare. These pets can also go on special adventures on which only unique pets can actually participate. Want to get a personal unique cutie made from your own drawing? Well, now you can! Our artists will create a cute pet version of your character that not only looks amazing, but also is extra strong. Join the game, buy a cutie, and send it on adventures to become the most powerful cutie lord. Once you are on the blockchain cuties listing on OpenSea, you can see the total volume is 196.89 ETH, and that is just for this past week. It's up 8.6% compared to last week. The average price is 0.06 ETH, per item, and then the items in this collection on OpenSea is 91,962. So some solid volume every week here on OpenSea for blockchain cuties. As you can see here, the most valued ones, if you scroll down from the blockchain cuties activity, you can see here that they have one seller that is actually pretty adamant about selling this. And you can also see that they have sold this previously for 11 ETH. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this, but it looks like Crown One Skull Smur Seven Eye Suit Alien Six. <laughs> and it says last sold for 11.79. As you can see from two months ago, this was listed, the sale was started, and it was actually sold 
two months ago from this user to this user. So you can see confirmation on the listing that it was sold for almost 12 ETH, which is very impressive. In terms of ranking, Blockchain Cuties is number 14 currently on OpenSea, and this changes weekly. So they have been in the top 10 for quite some time. They fluctuate back and forth, but it is very impressive to see that they are still in the top 15. One of the more notable aspects to the ranking is the number of owners here. You can see that there are thousands of owners. And when you get down to Blockchain Cuties, you can see there's 2,600 owners of 91,000 different items, which is very impressive when you have over a thousand owners on a platform that is really, really good for a marketplace. They have a lot of these different characters on here, and this is the recently sold category. And you can see that a lot of people are selling these pretty frequently. This one even has a little GIF that is moving with an Obey hat. <laughs> That is it for my overview of Blockchain Cuties. One of my favorite parts about Blockchain Cuties is the different types of breeds and the messaging behind them. You have regular, you have tribute, and then you have unique. With tribute, they're paying tribute to things like pop culture, cinema, video games in the past. So you kind of unlock these different breeds when you get the right gene combination when you're doing your breeding between Blockchain Cuties. And then you have unique cuties, and these cannot be reproduced by players. They're given out by the team and traded by other players, but they cannot be reproduced. So for example, you can definitely breed with the proper gene combinations to get a tribute cutie, but the rarest type of breeds you're going to have to get from the developers themselves. And that is what makes it extremely valuable for the team to continue developing these unique breeds because that is how they are getting rare breeds out into the ecosystem, applying more scarcity to this different type of asset within the game. Another one of the awesome things that I love about Blockchain Cuties is it is community-driven development. And I've covered this in the past with the Crypto Collectible series, where a lot of these games are play to own, the concept where you can go through a game and as you collect more items, you are almost owning more of the business. In some cases, in some extreme cases, you're actually sharing some of the revenue of the business. With Blockchain Cuties, you're actually able to contribute to what comes in the future. They're extremely transparent with what's coming and the community very much decides what's coming next. A great example was hedgehogs and wolves for Blockchain Cuties that was suggested by the community and was implemented by the development team. So in other words, if you're in the community and you want to have something added to the types of breeds or anything about the games, maybe it's the arms that you wanna be able to reach and get in the game, then you can actually reach out to the team into the community and the probability of getting it added is quite high. So as I mentioned before, the highlight feature here for me, at least in Blockchain Cuties, is being able to play on multiple blockchains. The traditional NFT is just deployed on Ethereum using ERC721, but with Blockchain Cuties, they're actually toggling between EOS Tron and Ethereum, which is very much a powerful move because you're not just plugged into one and stuck on one blockchain, you're able to toggle between all three, so you get access to all of those ecosystems. And once you crack open those gates to all three of those different ecosystems, you can actually provide unique experiences for each of those ecosystems when they're interacting with others, when they're interacting with the game itself. There's a wide variety of things that can happen when you open up the doors to all these big ecosystems like EOS, Tron, and Ethereum. So now for the moment everybody's been waiting for, we're going to be giving away three different NFTs. The first one, as you can see here, has like like a little YouTube shirt, and it is Blockchain Cuties 88732. All these NFTs were bred specifically for this campaign and this series to be included in this series. So there isn't any transaction history that I can show you guys because it was literally birthed uh, a few weeks ago just to show to you guys and to show to the Grow Your Base community. The next one is Blockchain Cuties 87866. And the final one has an extremely cool mustache, and that is Blockchain Blockchain Cutie 87867. Shout out to Crypto Stash for having an extremely wicked mustache. So those are the three different NFTs that you can win in the link in the description below. That is on the Grow Your Base platform. You go through, complete some assignments, share it out on social media for your chance to win that different NFT. And I'm very excited about this game because not only is it allowing people to breed 
battle and go through a game itself, arm their different cuties and breed against other players, creating that scarcity aspect, creating rarer breeds when you're breeding. I'm really, really interested in the multi-blockchain concept where they're toggling between Tron, EOS, and Ethereum. That is super bullish for me. When you're creating a game that sits on top of three different ecosystems, that is a very powerful, very powerful concept. But that's it for this episode. I hope you guys like it. If you did, slap a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna be doing a lot of these in the near future. And the link to everything will be in the description below. Go sign up for OpenSea, sign up for Grow Your Base, sign up for Blockchain Cuties, give it a test. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Hack Crypto.